friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Yes. You do that every time. I know. And someone said, not you're getting a new ick. Mm. <laughs> and I was like, fuck all of you guys. <laughs> you're mean. You start off your show the same way every time. What do you mean? To your comment section show. I have to start it off yeah, that way. So dog. do I. <laughs> Okay. The people are counting talk- on me. I'm not talking uh, about the script. I'm not talking about the script. I'm oh. talking about the cadence, dog. <laughs> the people are counting on me. Look at me hiding the dogs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing like dance pants and has wrapped her feet in the bottom of them in like boot covers. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been bothering me as we were gossiping before we started. Filming. My feet are cold and dog free zone. Yeah. This squir- I almost said Scorpio. This studio is insanely cold, dude. Every time. Which is a good thing. That's Rock hard sh- nips. Let me tell you. That's how it should be, honestly. <laughs> yeah. You can never be braless in this studio. I'll I tell know. you that much. Well, speaking of Scorpios, I was hanging out with our cousins last night. We were drinking. Mm-hmm. And I was reading everyone their big three. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, you have to consent to being put into my time passages app. And they're like, I consent. <laughs> I was like, okay. Because you can't get mad when yeah. I read you your chart. Literally. Very interesting, though. Love it. Yeah. I think Mayo is an Aries sun and then an Aries rising. But he has oh, to get his, uh, what's it called? Correct. His time, the, the like date with the birth time. He just was like, I think it was noon. I'm all, it won't be right if you don't give me the right time. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so maybe we'll do an episode on astrology soon. I feel like I don't know enough, though, to like, I feel like I have a very basic level understanding I of know it. a lot more than I give myself credit for, mm-hmm. but I would never call myself an expert. No. I just know a lot. I have a book on it. I haven't read it, but I did Love buy that. one. <laughs> so I consider me an expert. One. So I feel like I know a lot. And there you, you know? go. Yeah. Anyways, so for this episode, um, I can't remember who it was, but one of you said to have you guys send in your favorite movies and TV shows that have shitty Rotten Tomato scores. Yeah. Would you say that you... Um, believe in Rotten Tomato scores? Yes and no. I do too. Because, because it's it's rated, but also like sometimes people are wrong. Yeah. So like human error should yeah. be allowed. I feel there. like if I want to see like, because I'm a film geek. Yeah. If I'm going to go see a, like a really good, like hyped, like Oscar worthy level, like artsy movie. Yeah. If I'm going to go see it or pay to fucking see it, I have to look at the Rotten Tomato score. Do I like a bunch of shitty, like, rom com Like, one of my favorite movies is Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I think they're, the Rotten Tomato score on that is really poor. No, I don't reason. think so. Yeah, it is. You want me to look it up? I doubt it. Well, maybe when it initially came out, but it, maybe it's changed now. Public perception. Oh, it has an 83. I'm sorry. Told I'm you. thinking of This is 40. That one has a really bad one. No way. Really? Mm-hmm. I think it's, like, under, it's, like, 40-something. 51. Anything under 50 or under 60, I'm not going to pay to So go basically see. you lied two times in a row. And I'm going to go. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Um, we watched, that's so funny. We were talking about movies because earlier today we were looking through like Amazon to try and find a movie to watch. Wait, Prime? Yeah. Okay. I'm so glad you brought this up because I want you to watch The Summer I Turned Pretty. It's so good. Oh, I know. I've seen lots of stuff about it. I don't know if it's going to make me sad though. So I don't know if I want to watch it. Um, it did make me cry, but it's like, it's really cute. It's not like traumatizing. No, there's no trauma in it. Okay. It's very, honestly, when I was watching, I was like, this is literally a fan fiction come to life. Oh, I love that. And so it's so like, so she's like, she, geez, I'm getting all excited. So she, cause I just finished it. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Well, I was just going to give you the premise of like, it's something about her sister, right? No. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) hello. No. So she has a brother and then her mom's best friend has two sons and they've grown up around each other their entire lives. Okay. And every summer they spend like June to August at this beach house. So they have like traditions that they do. Real Nicholas Sparks. Yeah. And then basically this summer that she's coming to see all of them and they don't see each other. I think throughout the year, her and her brother and the two other brothers. And she's always been in love with one of the brothers. Uh huh. So this summer he sees her and now he's also in love with her. But then she has like a bunch of, obviously there has to be different love interests and yeah, like yeah, yeah. a bunch of mess and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's so good. I loved it. Oh yeah. I, the I soundtrack saw, iconic. I saw, um, lots of people posting about it. So I really do want to There watch was it. honestly, yeah, I saw Lizzo was watching it. Yeah. There's so many twists and turns. Like she was like, what do you mean? Don't you mean this person? And I was like, that's what I thought too. Yeah. Keeps you on your toes. Uh, okay. Noted. But yeah. What else would I was, what's I going to say? Oh, okay. So like, you know how sometimes on TikTok people will make like, they'll make like little like, fuck, what do you call them? They're like, 
Like a fan cam? Yeah, like fan cams are just like highlights from like rom-coms. Where they like put a clip of it? Yeah, and it's like love interests and then people are like, best movie of all time. And they put like sad music behind it or some shit. I think so. Is it those weird little slideshow ones that everyone's They're doing? They're not slideshows. It's literally the movie, but it's just like, it's cut like a trailer almost. Oh, okay. And so I like got, went down a rabbit hole of an account that does those really well. And I was just watching them from a bunch of movies I've fucking seen already. Mm. But there were literally like so many like Nicholas Sparks type shit in there. And I was watching them and like, it makes me want to watch them because they're so corny, but like, I love yeah. to watch them. Wait, they're like Nicholas Sparks movies? Yeah. Like they were, yes. What's and then your they were favorite one? Like, I don't know. I think I have hey, probably why, the last song. Oh, I was just going to say, and why isn't it the last song? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I knew you were going to say the last song. I I mean, yeah. Like people are going to be like, what about the notebook? Like the notebook's the, good. No, the notebook and a, and a walk to remember classics, but not my favorite when I think of Nicholas Sparks. Well, and also the notebook, like I, I think that's one of the most overrated movies I've ever seen. It's good. It's a good movie. It's really sad. It's a classic, mm -hmm. but she's also an adulterer. And I feel like we skip over that part a lot. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> She's a cheat. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's who can guess where that's from. <laughs> and what movie? <laughs> the only one I reference <laughs> ever in the history of time. I told you the first time I met Alex's husband, Steve. Yeah. I was like, he I was like, obviously that's the best Harry Potter movie. And he goes, Yeah. yeah. And I told him, and it's the one that my sister quotes the most. <laughs> I was like, honestly, I think it's the mo the movie out of every movie that's ever existed. She quotes yeah. that movie the most. Yes. And he goes, Why? Absolutely. And I go. It's just literally permanently etched behind my eyelids. <laughs> like I watch that that's movie all the time. That's how I feel about School of Rock. I feel like I, I that think too. Of a lot like of that's ones. another great one that yeah. I have etched behind my eyelids. And the Emperor's New Groove. That's yeah. Another one. The Wedding Singer. Yes. Don't tell Mom the Babysitter's yes. Dad. All of those are etched behind my eyelids. Like <laughs> they make up a big part of my personality. I know. Those, those are when I was going to bed. I thought of when Teffy kept saying, "I'll get the door tour." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny wait okay so finish your story about the fan cams okay yes well we we're talking about the notebook yes yeah so like good movie but i think most of y'all are just horny for the two of them together say it let's just call it what it just is say it the chemistry off the charts oh for sure off the charts they they did so well together i've seen people talking about how you can already see that he's such a fucking toxic ass man from the beginning when he's like holding himself off the edge of the, like literally gaslighting her. Oh, in the notebook. Yeah. Yeah. On a, on the Ferris wheel. Yeah. He's like, Oh, if you don't go on a date with me, I'll literally drop to my death right now. <laughs> I'll break both my I'll legs. I'll literally kill myself. And that blood's on your hands, bitch. He's like, so you better yeah. say yes. So yes or no. And we're like, he's so crazy. In they're, love. Like, they're like, Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why when I, in love, when he, <laughs> When he tries to kill himself in front of you. When he threatens his life. So if I go on a date with him. When he literally paints me into a corner. So I have no fucking While choice. I'm on a date with someone else. Um, but she was a spoiled brat. So that's why she would never know. <laughs> and he's a hard working blue color man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that's a white person movie. Not gonna it lie. is what it is. But it's good though. Like, don't get me wrong. It's good though. But like You know, everyone said that ending made them cry. And I I I cry when I I cried when I finished the summer I turned pretty. Yeah. I cry when I watch anything. Didn't cry during that movie. You know what, Nicholas Sparks movie? I did cry a lot. Well, the last song I did cry a lot during. Oh, that one, but not during the parts any parts of Liam Hemsworth. It's the parts with her dad. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's most specifically the little brother. The little boy. Oh my god, when he's like Get out of here! You don't know how to make the you don't know how to make the window. Only I do. That one, <laughs> yeah, dude, that fucked me up. I was sobbing. And he was like, <laughs> "You want to talk about a movie that makes me fucking sob, dude? What movie am I thinking of? My sister's keeper. Yes, yeah. exactly. And that's because me not me getting emotional looking at you because we are each other's keeper. And our mom, yeah, dog. Oh. That <laughs> movie. Fucked me up. I, know. I have never cried embarrassingly like out loud. Like uh, like yeah. uh, like like open <laughs> mouth. Like like no noise. I'm literally in tears in my eyes. Stop. That movie dog. So good. Fucks me up. Besides yeah. the fact that it so closely resembles our family dynamic. Yeah, how the dad's just like wants to help. He's and just he's just trying to keep everyone calm and collected yeah, and they have it's two sisters and a brother yeah the little brother the who oldest. feels like he's being ignored yeah. right or he's the oldest actually oh, in yeah. that movie but like she's the one with cancer is the middle one and then the other one's the younger who plays the younger sister is it abigail, abigail breslin, breslin yeah. yeah um she acted her ass off in that move the whole cast cameron diaz yeah. dude 
acted her ass put her whole off pussy in that one. She put her whole Cam- Cameron Diaz pussy in that <laughs> fucking video, that movie, bro. She ate Wait, that how, shit. Up. Let's see how many tomatoes that one has. Continuing your story. Well, that's like a that's like a great um, example of a movie that like. That's a quality movie from Look, the start. 48 Tomatoes. See, like, so not not given the respect that it you fucking deserves. You think this movie's worse than this is 40? And well, and also that movie is wonderful, too, because it's all out of order. Yeah. So, like, you never know what's happening unless you've read the book, obviously, which I haven't. And everyone says it's not even anything like the book. <laughs> yeah, but I don't need to read the book because the movie fucks me up, yeah. like, so bad. But anyways, I was watching all these TikToks and then I was seeing all these, like, have you seen the movie The Last Ride? The Last Ride. Is that what Clint Eastwood said? <laughs> yeah. I think I've watched parts of it, but I didn't that finish it. That movie's so cornball, dude. But That's like, like the lucky one. Is that what it's called? The one yeah. with, with Zac Efron? That yeah. That fucking awful. That movie's terrible because that's Piper, isn't it? <laughs> the girl in the movie? Piper. She, she plays Piper in- Oh, Taylor Chapman? Yeah, no, Orange that's is the New Black. Yeah, Orange is the New Black. No, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I just like don't feel right. I need to see her kissing other girls. <laughs> You're gay. <laughs> that girl is that gay. That girl is gay. <laughs> Meet it every girl. It just ever. doesn't feel right. The the chemistry was so mismatched there. Like that, that was well, a bad thing. She pairing. looked a little bit older than him too, which I think she was supposed to be, but I didn't get it. No, he wasn't. They were supposed to be the same age. They're supposed oh. to be close in age. Do you remember the movies Charlie St. Cloud? Yeah, what a fucking terrible movie. Everyone's like, oh my God. Remember how hyped it was? Let's just say you want to fuck Zach Efron. Like, that's so much easier. Like, you know just what, say you want to fuck What's his prime him. performance? Besides prime High School Musical. Hairspray. <gasps> yes. He was What's so great one? in Hairspray. 17 again. Oh, that's a great one. Such a good movie. Yeah, that's a good one. Anything with Leslie Mann, I'm going to watch it. Me too, honestly. She's so great. Mm-hmm. But, oh my God, like the movie The Other Woman. Yes. With- okay. I watched that recently. Like Is that what Cameron Diaz too. Yeah. Right? yeah. Leslie Mann uh-huh. and Kate, Kate Upton, but she's yeah. like a small part of the movie. Yeah. But that she's there for titties. That movie, dude. That movie's so good. So, so there, funny. There's a lot of famous people in that movie. I think. Yeah, because um, the guy who plays Jamie Lannister yes. is the husband in that movie. Nikolaj or something. Ni- Nikolai, yeah. <laughs> Nikolaj is from fucking Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Ignore me. Well, he also spells his name that way, I think. Oh, okay. But it's pronounced Nikolaj. But in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, that's like a joke where he's oh. like, oh, Nikolaj. He's like, you're not saying it right. Nikolaj. And they yeah. just mimic each other. It's really funny. Anyways. Yeah, but that movie's so funny. Yeah. That's such a great, like, comfort movie. It's like yeah. a feel-good movie. <gasps> that's how I go with the holiday. Oh, I just watched, ideas again. I just watched. Yes. I know. <laughs> I literally watched it the other night with, with mommy. She's like, oh, should we be like kind of crazy and watch the holiday? <laughs> Such a good movie. I'm going oh to watch it. I'm going to watch, watch it every time. Kate Winslet eats me up every Jack time. Jack Black. Jack Black, dude. Oh, such a great movie. So good. But anyways, so The Last Ride. Yes. Is that what you guys watched on Prime? No, he would never let me. <laughs> I tried. The Billy will humor me every now and then. But like this time he was like, can we please watch something? <laughs> That I also want to watch. And then we ended up watching Spy, which is not what he really wanted to watch. But like Spy with, with Melissa, Melissa McCarthy. McCarthy. Oh, okay. Is Dude, that, it still holds up, Is bro. that the where she's like, you look like a fucking dolphin trainer? Yeah, a slutty dolphin trainer. Yeah. No, nah, dude. It's like the fact that like, Jason Statham's in there. I forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's so mean to her. <laughs> like, that guy's shit. funny. So funny. He's Dude, like, Hobbs and Shaw. Great movie. How many tomatoes do you think she has? I don't want to hear any Hobbs and Shaw <laughs> slander. Slander the Fast and Furious series all you want. Not Fuck her. those movies. Fuck those movies. I hate There's those movies. 67 tomatoes. That's pretty good. I'm telling you, bro. Like, that movie kills me. Are, I, I wonder if the rest, of, if it's higher than the rest of the Fast and the Furious I movies. doubt it. Because people are so feral for those movies. And just say so you want to fuck the cast. No, that's what I'm saying. How I've many seen, ways can you drive cars? Against like, my cares? own will, I have seen all of them. I've only ever and seen the, the first one. the best one is the second one. I've only ever seen too the first fast, one. Too Fast, Too Furious. That's where they bring in Tyrese. Yeah. That's the best one. I've only ever seen the first one, and I didn't care to see the rest. because like, don't, don't worry about it, cuz. That's in the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Who, Paul Walker says that? You've ever seen that? No, I remember the scene where he does the stare and drive thing, and then he's like, he did the stare and drive, huh? I taught him that. I think that's the second one. Okay. Yeah. Wait, no. It's in one of them. But yeah. yeah. No, the second one's the best one. No, but anyways, what was I talking Those about? Those movies are so Spy. funny when we, you... Oh, God. We watched Spy. Yes. So funny. Mm-hmm. Listen, one thing about a kitschy little slapstick comedy, I'm gonna watch it. 
Like the heat, dude, is one the of our favorite. The heat movies. is one of my favorite movies because it's just so fucking funny. What are you? <laughs> no matter how many times I watch it, I laugh like it's the first time I've ever seen it. And it's funny because Melissa McCarthy always has like recurring characters in all yeah. her movies. Like she has this, just like how her and her husband write a lot of the yeah. movies she's in. They like, have a new show out. I haven't watched it yet. It's supposed to be really oh, funny. Oh yeah, I saw it too. I haven't watched it either, obviously. But like. Yeah, I'm gonna watch a movie though. I don't watch TV shows a lot, but I'm gonna watch no, a movie. Not at all. Um, but no, okay. The last ride is literally that one where he's like a bull rider. Yes. And like, <laughs> I he, wish he was just a bull. That'd be. I would watch that. <laughs> he falls in love with like an uptight like lawyer type girl yeah, her dad's the mayor the part where he goes to like pick her up for their first date and people are like oh my god cowboy boots like it's just so funny to see white people try to like cosplay oppression <laughs> <laughs> like discrimination <laughs> dude did you watch that tiktok you're saying this morning of this lady well that's getting- really just like elitist elitism but yeah. like getting fitted for a cowboy hat did you watch that? yeah movie? i was like why did you send me because this why is that on my forehead <laughs> yeah, you and sent I me that. It's funny because when she put it on, I go, I hope the hat stays like that. It was just so rounded at the top. Well, the top comment on there was literally like when she it's just was just putting it on, I was like, oh girl, no. But then I realized it was it like, like the man with the yellow but hat. But then she didn't do he didn't do the brim. Yeah. So I was like, so you have half a cowboy hat? I don't know. It just made me laugh really. Why hard. people don't have culture? Then explain this. Then explain that. And they probably stole that from somebody. <laughs> So, anyways, the the last ride me and our mom watched together. Recently? No, we watched it together when it came out on yeah. Netflix, like, oh, years okay, ago. Yeah. But I remember watching it with her. Who because plays the girl? Do you remember? She looks like the girl that's in all the Harry Styles fanfic ones. You just look ones. like every other bitch. What is it after? Speaking of... It was literally Kaylee Cuoco, no? No, it wasn't. <laughs> that oh, absolutely This is a different wasn't. last ride. <laughs> Wait, is that what it's called? Yeah, the last ride. Yeah, the longest ride. Yeah, I don't think it's it's not the last ride. That's funny. What's it the is one? the longest ride. You're okay, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Britt Robertson. She's every girl in every movie. She like that. dated um Dylan O'Brien for a really long time. She is quite literally always playing that girl she, in what, every movie. What like movie that. was she in? Where she's like the annoyed daughter, like. I don't know. You're like I don't know every movie ever. Speaking of cheesy ones, have you watched the after movies? I watched the first two. I didn't know the third one was oh, out. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that either. Or I look Because Sarah told us that the third one is out. I thought she was talking about the second one the whole time. Sarah Baska. Yeah. We talked about it. But, dude. Let me see. Those movies. They're insane. And I can't get enough. Trevor. Oh, God. Is that what I, says? Yeah. Fucking Trevor. <laughs> That's what it was. Remember when he's running. No, after- Brothers 3. Remember when he was running after the ambulance? Yeah. <laughs> he's like. It's like, you're never going to catch it. <laughs> what would you do? Yeah, after we fall. Those movies, dude. Okay. Dude, it's on Netflix. I know. They always are. They're so... I'm going to watch that. No, but I'm talking... It's the new one. They're talking. so fucking stupid mm-hmm. with the most arguably graphic sex scenes. And I'm going to eat it up. Every time it comes out, I'm going to be like... How many tomatoes does the new one have? Let's see. You know those like comments on TikTok when they're like... Girl, it doesn't even have tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> they said don't bother me with this shit <laughs> don't even bother you know when someone like um comments on a tiktok and then they like they put sigh and it says opens netflix yeah. that's me every time i see those movies come out i don't want to watch it i watched the first two and i was like and i've had enough the sex scenes are so <laughs> i know dude, I'm all, dude, like turn my tv down in my room <laughs> i genuinely was like it feels like i'm looking through someone's window mm-hmm. almost be- but they're so unbelievable cuz they're like not real mm-hmm. and then they're 30 minutes long and i'm just like what the fuck dude <laughs> like what this is supposed to be harry styles and i think his dad is voldemort irl that no actor no way really yeah his last name's fines what talk about nepotism let me see just kidding ralph fines is like an esteemed actor oh i think that's his uncle Oh, okay. That makes a little more sense. <laughs> but just like those. Listen, why do they that always. Guy, that guy's fucking goofy looking. That's what I'm saying. Listen, the men, the, fact, the men in the summer turn pretty. I'm like, okay. Well, the fact that they like make him so fucking goofy and like weirdly erratic and like, you know what I mean? They just make him so unlikable. Yeah. But I guess like they're writing to the fan fiction. Yeah. But it's not Harry Styles, so it's hard to buy in, yeah. right? Like, I'd let that man gaslight me, you know? <laughs> but, 
But it's just fucking <laughs> ignore me, make me hate myself. <laughs> but the fact that they always paint the woman as like a Keds wearing like tight curl, like pencil skirt head ass bitch in college. Like why? Yeah, I don't It's know. creepy. It's creepy if you think about it. Cause it's like, it's just like 50 shades of gray. Yes. Which I was trying to convince Billy to watch. <laughs> Just to watch the one scene. Because those are also on Prime, all of them. Ooh, okay. And I was I'm not trying to watch them. I was trying to convince him to watch them. Those are the- like too straight. I've never watched anywhere. I'm like, <laughs> this is too straight for me. That is. I was telling That's what after is for me. Too straight. Yeah. Don't no, you're right, though. You're yeah. s- even for me, yeah. bro. I watch it. I'm like, this is. It's like I'm a little kid where I'm like, I go on my phone when they're like doing it for 30 minutes. I'm yeah. like, I don't want to watch this. Like, it's, it's too taking straight. too long. It's too straight. And it's not real. Yeah. Like, if you really think about it, the Fifty Shades movies are fucking bizarre. Like, yeah. the, the way the storyline goes, yeah. it makes no, no sense. sense. They're literally all written like fan fiction, which yeah. those are my favorite TV shows and movies to watch. Yeah. When they're cute. That's why, like, I loved To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I told you. Especially the first one. Oh no, I was thinking of the other one. What? The summer I turned pretty? No, the other one with that mini Kayleen wrote. Oh, never have I ever. Never have I ever. I love that show. And I had to convince her to watch it. Yeah. For once, for once. I had to and convince was, her to watch it's it. So, it's one of my favorite shows. It's so it's funny. It's so cute. And yeah. it's it's written like a like a real, like it's like just outside of reality. It's like two steps outside, but at the same time you feel very relatable and like Yeah, you so see there's yourself definitely in some them. parts where I'm like, it's too uh, like oh yeah like let's film a tiktok like it's too much too like gen z yeah targeted which you could tell like it's not a gen z person writing it yeah i there's parts of that but that that show's so fucking funny and so cute and so representative yeah and like inclusive and all of that and i want to freaking punch that girl every episode (laughs) but that's like that's a great show example where it's like fan fiction Mm -hmm. but also not too fan fiction y. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, and so the girl that, the lady that wrote uh, To All the Boys I Love Before, she also wrote The Summer I Turned Pretty. Oh, cool. So it's just this fan fiction y where she like can't choose which boy. And like, yeah, Dayson, how does every boy want to fuck told, her? Jason told me to watch um, To All the Boys I Love And it was before. so cute. Yeah. yeah. I didn't like the second and one. And then we all found I out. I loved the third we, one. Then we found out who Noah since Nail was in real life. You're and trying to score like, from me or what? And everyone was like, and then he said, are you trying to squirt for me or what? Yeah, I heard you the first time. <laughs> Thanks for repeating it. <laughs> One more time. But that's like, a that's someone who's like, the feral nature of which people were like supporting him and her too, but mostly him. Yeah. Um, Just to find out who he really was. And everyone's like, cut it. That's why he was like, what what was that shit he said at the People's Choice Awards and everyone was like... Was Don't gonna... do what you can do for others, but do what you can do for others for yourself and others. And everyone was like... It's just like when Jess Weaver said, I'd like to thank not only God, but Jesus. <laughs> what? That's funny. He didn't accept his... That's why. That's where that joke comes from. People are like, I'd like to thank not only God, but Jesus. How is this man going to make a song called Holy <laughs> and not know the difference? This was before that. <laughs> But he was doing an acceptance speech. Literally look it up. He's like, I'd like to thank not only God, but Jesus. Nah, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> it's like Jesus, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyways, that's a great one. That's a great example. But like the Fifty Shades movies are like just so far-fetched and so ridiculous. Yeah. And so straight that they're just like unappealing. What did you guys end up watching on Prime then? Spy. I told you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We were going to watch something for realsies, and then I was like, can we watch Spy? Yeah, watch The Summer I Turned Pretty. He, I don't think he'll like it, but it's like, because there's parts where she like fights with her brother where I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys are being so like loud. Like, I'm yeah. like, no, siblings don't fight like that. Yeah. But, um, and like some of the things she says are like, it's cringy because yeah. it's a teeny bopper type show. Well, he thought that about Never Have I Ever too. And he watched that whole thing with me. Yeah. So it's a show too. So it's seven episodes. Oh my God. Speaking of crying in the last episode when they're like at the beach with her dad's ashes or whatever. Yes. Cried a lot. Cried. Sobbed. Mm-hmm. The fact that they were like doing it together. Is mm-hmm. a fa- uh, crazy. I know. Sam. So great. Anyways. Wait. Okay. So that's a great segue into our show. So cool. I wanted to know what are you watching? On TV. Well, I just watched Keep Sweet, Pray, and Obey. I'm a big documentary girl. Is it good? So fucking good. Is it a show? Yeah. How many episodes? There's like six. There's not many. Is it, you think it's better than the Mormon one where he just liked to trick people? I didn't watch that one, but I really liked this one. Okay. So fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. Because I did have, I did know because like when shit like that hits the news, I like look into it myself. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so you like like to know. She's an investigative journalist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Heart. At the end of the day, I'm a journalist. Um, when I'm just looking it up, I'm like, did you know? Yeah, but like um, it's not in the news. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> mom, everyone knew. Yeah. Um, but there's shit in there that I was like. Ooh, I'm excited. Literally the last episode, dog, I watched it and I was like, I was watching like this. <laughs> so I was like in disbelief, bro. Like I, I knew, I knew some of what came out mm-hmm. of like when they actually could like prosecute him. Yeah. I knew some of it. I did not know all of it. Cause Ooh. once I saw the rest of it, I was like, I'm fired up. Literally me and Billy were like, That's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And then also the fact that, um, the other shady shit they were doing in there that didn't have to do with like obviously like SA of any kind um, is bizarre. Yeah. If you look into it, you're like, what? So like, Drew likes to watch that and I'm a killer. That's her oh, yeah. fascination. Oh, great show. What great else show. is that it? Um, I'm trying to think what else I've watched recently. I've been watching lots of documentary stuff recently, mm-hmm. <laughs> like about murderers and shit. <laughs> so like, that's all I've been watching okay. recently. And then I watched Spy today. So hard left, but you know. That's it. <laughs> That's no. it. And then Friends. Friends is like a I fall asleep to it kind of show. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not one that I'm like, ooh, like it's literally like I fall asleep or like if I'm pa- like passively eating lunch or something, yeah. I'll put it on. Yeah. I just finished The Umbrella Academy, the newest season. Um, yeah, I heard. I saw Jay Soups talk about it. It's honestly kind of, I didn't like it. The first season was just so good. I think they'll never be able to top it. Yeah. My favorite part of it, though, was their introduction of Elliot Page's new character. Cool. Which is really cool. Love that. Um, and how, because they're all supposed to be siblings. Yeah. And how they were like, okay. And they like, they're like, that's fine. Like, they literally didn't care. And like, Oh, that's fucking cool. So that was Love the that. coolest part of the whole um, series. And yeah. Of the I heard season. Stranger Things is is absolutely so nutty. So good. So yeah, I, I, I saw just... I saw a couple clips, a couple spoilers. Um, I won't spoil it for anyone here, but I did see like the clip, the videos of what's his face like sobbing. Yeah. Yeah. No. So yeah. So I just finished that yesterday. Did any too. of the main mains die? Well, I don't want to spoil it. For That's the true. People. You could tell me. Okay. Go like this and just mouth it to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um drew loves a fucking spoiler i i don't care about the spoilers no, i don't i literally told don because it came out yesterday i was like donovan are you done can we please watch stranger things because i don't want anything to be spoiled for at me. least like i think i just don't care when it's not shows that i've been like heavily invested in yeah like when i was watching game of thrones mm-hmm. dude i like didn't want to ever see anything yeah same, because same, same. i was i fucking love that well, show because that one they release one at a time so it's like not if they drop the whole show like it'd be a lot yeah. faster to finish it yeah but when they do them once at one at a time then everything that's released on east coast times so you have to wait till it's over well, here are you talking about stranger things no i'm talking oh, about game of thrones yeah well also too i saw towards the end the writers said too on game of thrones that um they started writing fake scripts and shit because people were so feral for that fucking show that yeah. they were trying to leak endings and all that. I think they did the same thing for Stranger Things, but I did finish that. I absolutely loved it. And so, like, we finished the Umbrella Academy the day before, me and yeah. Donnie. Yeah. So then we finished Stranger Things yesterday, and I was telling him, this show's just so much better than uh, the Umbrella Academy, which yeah, is kind I saw, of a bummer. Is this season four? Of Stranger Things? Yeah. So it's, like, part two to season four. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. This went for, They said they have one more after that. Yeah, so part yeah. two was, like, two episodes, but one was an hour and a half long, and the other yeah. one was, like, 48, eight minutes or so. Yeah, I read that note um, from the writers of Stranger Things on Twitter mm-hmm. that said that five is the last season. Yeah. Um, And they said... The way two, they ended it, it's pretty obvious. They're going to have one more. Well, and they said, too, that they wrote this entire show yeah. from start to finish already yeah. they wrote it from the beginning i know so that's why i won't spoil it for anyone but there's parts like in part one of season four that you yeah. can see like special characters and stuff yeah. you, you look back to season one and you're like oh yeah i see you know? yeah so they said they wrote the entire fucking thing which yeah. is which is really rare i think for netflix shows especially yeah so that's why they're saying like they knew exactly what they were doing the whole time mm-hmm. and i think like, with most shows i can usually guess what's gonna happen but with stranger things i'm never i'm like so confused not confused but i'm like yeah trying to like keep up with the well and i have watched some of stranger things like i watched what's the season with billy i know she that's the only one you've watched that's That's three three, right that was my one of my favorite seasons the first one's the best one but yeah i watched 
three. And yeah. I watched, I think I watched half of two because you guys had been watching it. And mm-hmm. then I just watched the the finishing of it. Yeah. And then I remember, it's kind of weird. They come out every year around 4th of July. Yeah. Not that we give a shit about 4th of July, but I'm just using it as <laughs> a marker. The 4th of July. Yeah. I'm using it as of a marker date. for Stranger Things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they always, and I just remember because one time for... Um, it was like a Fourth of July weekend. Yeah, we, we watched, watched season three season in one day. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's that's the only one I've ever seen yeah. all the way through. Um, that's what introduced me to all the characters. But those are all, all good shows. And so now we're gonna hop into some not so good shows. <laughs> yeah, those are quality shows that everybody yeah, loves. Everyone loves. Yeah, yeah. like fucking but squid I love, game. And- I love talking about shows that or movies that everybody fucking hates, yeah. but some people love. Like I love talking about that. So, I think it's so great. The Twilight series is in here a couple of times. Great films. Yeah. They were unappreciated in their time. They've made a resurgence. Yeah, I agree. I say that as if people weren't like literally turning themselves into vampires, hopefully, or moving, relocating to Forks, Washington. Yeah. To live close. I think like the Twilight movies now, I see them a lot differently than how I saw them like as a teenager. As a teenager. Sure. Cause like as a teen, they 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 read very fan fiction y to me. Yeah. Now they're very problematic yeah. for multiple reasons. <laughs> but like <laughs> their portrayal of like native people and like Well, not even just that. That's like a whole nother thing. But yeah, it's how they had also, a white man playing the main <laughs> dude, which I didn't even know um until like literally two years ago. Mm-hmm. Um no like the predatory behavior, yeah. the the puritanical shit, Ooh, the fact that yeah, it's based yeah. off Mormon allegory, Loki, Mormon lore. Um, all of that is like pretty fucking hard pill to swallow. Yeah. And also like to keep on theme with the predatory shit, like <laughs> Taylor Lawner falling in love with the baby. Like even when I, okay, you want to know some tea? Hmm. When I read the Twilight books in middle school, right? Yes. I read them when I was in seventh grade. And then the last one came out when I was in eighth grade. And I only remember that because I read one through three, right? Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, right? Yes. And then I, I, yeah, I went, I read one through three. Um, I fucked with them heavy. I thought they were really great books. I was like, this is cool. Also, this is me being psychic once again, but I used to listen to Paramore all the time when Mm. I would read those books. And then they ended up doing a lot of music for the soundtrack. So anyways, that's just a side note. So decode, you're welcome. (laughs) So where's my money is basically my question, but um, when I was in eighth grade, I remember I was in my last class of the day. I was in like yearbook. This is a like literally such a clear memory in my head. And one of my friends, her name was Maria. We were talking to each other and she goes, oh yeah, I just finished the last new moon book. I go, oh yeah, Eclipse. Cause like, mind you, like social media was like non-existent yeah. at this point. Um, so I had no fucking idea there was another book. She goes, no, the last one is Breaking Dawn. And I go, what? There's another book? And she goes, yeah, dude. And it's crazy. And I go, really? She goes, yeah, Bella gets pregnant. I go, what? And I, she told me the whole plot. She's like, Bella gets pregnant. And then her vampire baby like almost kills her. And then um, they have to turn her. To yeah, they have to alive. turn. Well, she didn't even tell me that part. She just said, Jacob falls in love with the baby. And I remember going, whose baby? And she goes, <laughs> Bella's baby. I go, he falls in love with a baby. And I remember being so disgusted. <laughs> and she goes, no, it's like, it's not like that though. Cause like, you know, like the gaslight that you experience reading it. You're like, Oh, this is normal yeah. when you're reading it. He's in love. He can't help it. Yeah. No, she goes, no, like, like they, you know how like he's frozen in time. I'm all, I didn't fucking know that shit. He's a wolf. She goes, no, I know. But like, you know how they imprint or whatever, when they imprint on babies, they wait till they get to the same age. Then they grow old together. And I was, I and I yeah. remember thinking to myself, that's fucking weird. Yeah. And she goes, I'm telling you, dude, it's nuts. And then she let me borrow her book and I read it. I took it home. I read, I read it in like two days. Cause I wanted to know. And I still remember being equally disgusted when I was, how old are you in eighth grade? 13? Yeah. Dude, I was literally like, ew, when I read those words. Have you seen, you know, people like will clip parts of Twilight that are funny that you don't notice, like when you're yeah, not yeah, watching yeah. him. Yeah. There, it was a clip from one of the Breaking Dawns, I don't know which one, uh-huh. where he like picks up a, this is The chicken, food bowl and, and he, he throws it out. He eats the dog food out of the, the she bowl. She made a sandwich. Oh, and she put it in there? And the, she made, she, you, it says in the book that she like, you can hear her like punching in metal. Yeah. In the thing. And she brings it back and she literally used her nail to carve in like Fido into the bowl mm-hmm. to like it was supposed to be a mean joke yeah 
Oh, I thought there was dog food in it. Anyways, no. and then he took that bowl and fucking threw beat, it at the back of her. in the back of the head. And that happens in the book. <laughs> and that's and that's an that's a bonus. That's scene. what I want to do to you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that white man. <laughs> Whose white baby is this? That's literally what I think when I see Ew. him. I know. Rip, honestly. Okay. But the rest of them were actually native. So don't you think that's weird? A white man. Yeah. Wait, is that Boo Boo Stewart guy actually native? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then there you go. He has a really pretty sister. She's in another great show called Atypical that Drew will not watch because oh. Drew doesn't watch anything. I, I just don't watch, watch it. I just don't watch anything. She's gay? In oh. that show. Well, the fact that they made all of them native except him is pretty fucking bizarre. I know. So maybe we should have replaced him, guys. Maybe we were in the wrong. Maybe we shouldn't have petitioned to keep him in the movies. We should have had him replaced. Wait, when? When did they say that? They were... Jacob. Remember they were going to replace him for New Moon and everyone was like, you better not... Fucking take him out. <laughs> Remember how everyone was like, I want to be a vampire. Yeah, I always wanted to be a werewolf. Me too, only because like I was always team brown. Yeah, same. Regardless, I was always team brown. But now that I know he wasn't even brown. I would like to be no one in the show. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, if I had to choose gun to my head, yeah. I'm following the money. So I'm, I'm picking the vampire. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, this is a good one. This okay. is from Catherine, and she says a Cinderella story, the one with Hillary Duff. Uh, uh, wait, wait. She says it has a twelve percent on Rotten Tomatoes. That's disrespectful to me. She and also my religion, put, <laughs> <laughs> my Hillary Duff religion. She said also Ella Enchanted has fifty percent on Rotten Tomatoes, and I love that movie too. Ella Enchanted didn't really do it for me, but like I love Anne Hathaway. That's why I love yeah, her. I do love Anne Hathaway though. I just didn't love Ella Enchanted the way the way. I rode for Cinderella story and yeah. still do to this day. Bitch. You guys should be that for Halloween. That would be so the way funny. I rode for that bitch is not even funny. I, when I tell you, I, I played that movie on a fucking loop for like even three the, summers in a row. Even the Selena Gomez one, which is honestly, just no, as e but even that one, it didn't have a hold on me. Like Hillary <laughs> Duff did like not even. And did you, I saw recently that she was 15 when and and he was 22. 25. Wait, who? Chad Michael Murray. He was 22. Yeah. Well, and then in, in the Selena Gomez one, she was also 15. And he was 25. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. They're like, okay, yeah, you can be hired, but we got to pick someone 10 years younger than you. And listen, it's tradition. <laughs> listen, I don't want to talk down on my namesake, Drew Seeley, but like, he just don't got it like Zac Efron. Yeah. I don't, I don't. Zac blame, Efron. I don't. Well, oh, because yeah, in true, the true, first true. high school musical, yeah. Even Zac Efron's voice is like, it's more suited to him. You could tell it's his when yeah. he's like actually singing. Because a lot of people don't know that Drew Seeley sang all the parts for Zac Efron in High School Musical 1. Yes. So I don't know if they were just like, you don't have the chops yet. Yeah. Um, but like, Drew Seeley just don't got it like that. And honestly. <laughs> he doesn't have leading man. Yeah, he gives me best friend vibes. Yeah. Like Supporting character. Well, and also the fact that he was my age and he was Can making out with a 15 year old. But then again, you never see them actually kiss. So I wonder if it was a different girl and they swapped them out like a body double. Because when you see them like kiss in the movie, it's from the back and it's all shadowed and it's a silhouette. So I'm curious to know if her parents were like, fuck that shit. She's not kissing an almost yeah, 30 year old. I'm maybe. curious to know that. That wasn't the case for Hilary Duff. But she also dated one of the Madden brothers when she was 16 and he was 22. Yeah, I know. And she was recently on the cover of Women's Health and she looks great. She looks amazing. Congrats, babe. Yeah. We love Hillary Duff. But <laughs> I... That movie is so good. I cannot Does describe Regina to you. King is in that movie. Yeah, she plays um, the... Well, she becomes like the new the manager. Fairy godmother. Yeah. yeah, she's like the fairy godmother, yeah. But I cannot describe to you how much I love that fucking movie, bro. But again, it's like... It's the same thing where like white people are like Laugh cosplaying. Laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, LOL. Laugh out loud. The way that... um. <laughs> the way that they like cosplay being oppressed or whatever. Mm. It's the same shit in that movie. Diner girl. <laughs> <laughs> when you have a job. When you have a job and your <laughs> rich, rich white people at your high school don't like that. It's so embarrassing. They're like, can I get a boss or whatever? Yeah. It's not boss. What did she say? She's like, what can I get that's not fat, not dairy, and is gluten free? No, you're quoting grown ups. <laughs> no, I know, but she asked for a sparkling water or yeah. something. Yeah. It's like the same shit. She's like, you can have the tap or. <laughs> yeah. She's like, what do we have? Not that, not dairy and gluten free. And she goes water. And I'm like, burn. <laughs> Fucking ate that bitch she's up. She's kind of a pick me in that movie. She is. Cause she's like a guy's girl. Yeah. But like the other girl is like this extreme 
extremely it's the same shit where they like demonize hyper femininity yeah. so like someone who's like really girly whatever mm-hmm. that may be they're like oh she's a fucking bitch like mm-hmm. and, and she, an like, idiot yeah yeah she's a big idiot and like honestly but some, sam she likes baseball guys <laughs> she's a guy's girl <laughs> she loves she baseball. wears converse baseball <laughs> baseball, <laughs> baseball americano <laughs> just kidding that's football, that's americano. football. baseball like baseball <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, like, this bitch is fucking hitting flies, like, during high school, she's like, like, but she doesn't play on the team. Yeah, like, she's just, like, warming up for nothing in her fucking jeans, like, she's literally hitting fly, like, pop flies, like, she's literally, like, <laughs> she's, like, a 50-year-old dad. <laughs> yeah, like, she's, she's making catch. her nerdy friend, like, pitch to her or whatever, or, like, put balls in the machine, <laughs> and then he hits it, and then, uh, remember, like, he hits it, and she hits a home run. And then he's like, it goes next to Chad Michael Murray and his bunny, mm-hmm. who also looks 32. And then he picks it up and throws it over the fence. He's like, now nah, that's impressive. He's like, damn, a chick hit that? Crazy. Hot. <laughs> Diner like, girl. He's like, smash. It's- <laughs> he's he's ready. Right. Smash. 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 And he's talking about the f- nerdy friend. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. And remember, <laughs> <laughs> that boy is gay. And remember when the friend, like, um, he's like trying new characters and one of them's like a hip hop guy. Yeah. Problematic. Problematic. The funniest people in that movie is like obviously Regina King. No. Well, yes, she's also funny, but um Paulette from Legally Blonde. Oh, Jennifer Coolidge. Jennifer Coolidge and the two sisters. Yeah. The stepsisters. They're fucking we, funny. We should be them for home. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking funny I know. in that movie. Like, those girls are funny. Like, and some of the shit is like um, you know when he like breaks up with her in front of everyone at the diner? I think so. So like they order the fucking water and the iced tea or whatever. Uh-huh. And remember they're like sitting and he's like, hey, can we talk? And it's right before the big dance, right? Oh, he breaks up with Stacey Hinkhouse. Yeah. The the popular bitch. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that is Stacey Hinkhouse, right? From Freaky Friday. It's the same girl. Isn't it? Oh, it is the same girl. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's what I was calling her that. Oh shit! I it is love the, that movie. That's also a great movie. And then lesbian and Chad, and Chad Michael Murray. Oh, he is, is also in that in movie. movie yeah. He looks like a lesbian. Honestly, he looks better with the long hair. But yeah. I'm, I'm just a fan of he long looks hair. Stinky. Though. Yeah, he does. And also thirty once again. I think it's a wig. I think that was a no. Wig. It for sure yeah. is a wig, but. Anyways, when he breaks up with the bitch, right? And he's like, um, I want to break up with you. And then she's like, are you in love with someone else? And then he goes, uh, I think I am. And they're like, ooh, like the fucking friends. Wait, what was his screen name? So she was Princeton Girl. Yeah, right? she was Princeton Girl. He was a uh, nomad. <laughs> <laughs> and I read, I wrote, I remember too, like. Um, On a TikTok. That someone- <laughs> yeah, that was one of my first viral comments ever and mm-hmm. got pinned was um, when I some guy was pretending to be him. Like he like looked a lot like him in that movie. Mm-hmm. And then I wrote, okay, no pack it up. Nomad. <laughs> so that's what I put. He's a nomad. He's outside the living outside the lines yeah. or whatever. But anyways, she like, so her reaction to getting broken up with is like, she's obviously annoyed, mm-hmm. but then she goes, she goes, I'm going to look past this little mental breakdown of yours. <laughs> Which is kind of like, she kind of ate that up. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> She ate your ass up. Yeah, she yeah. kind of chewed him the fuck up. After getting humiliated, she like gaslights the fuck out of him. And she goes, and I'll see you at the dance. Okay? <laughs> she gets up and she leaves. And I still think about that exchange to this day. Because like, she's just like, no. Because he's like, we're going to break up. She's yeah. like, no. No. So I'm going to look past this little mental breakdown of yours. <laughs> Dude, that shit kills me. Great so movie. Funny. 1, 1,000 out of 10, that movie. Oh, remember, wait, really quick. Another thing about Cinderella story. Remember when he goes, would you rather have a salad or a Big Mac? Remember that? Yeah. Pick me shit. And she goes, a Big Mac. What does that matter? <laughs> and then he goes, well, you just eliminated about half of the girls out of school. Yeah, he's like, I like a girl who can eat. <laughs> pizza and beer and sports. I touch my butt. <laughs> touch my butt and buy me pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't that your Instagram bio? <laughs> because people think I'm being for real. <laughs> It's a 7.5 million on TikTok and below it. It says, buy me pizza, touch my butt. People will people think I'm being dead ass. That's, they're going to ask me if I was hacked. Uh, this next one's from someone named Anna, and she said, Paul Blart Mall Cop, the first one. It has a 34% rating of Rotten Tomatoes, but a 100% rating in my heart. That's a great movie. It's so funny. I Such love, a, what's his name? Is it Kevin James? Kevin James, He's yeah. He's so funny. I really Such like a great, him. like, feel-good movie. Yeah. And, like... 
his like him needing like sugar boosts all the time yeah. is like so funny in that movie. That's a great movie. Yeah, I think I that's a that. solid choice. That is a good one. Okay, and then one that's in here a shit ton is Glee. Oh, and we love we love Glee. Glee. Listen, I love Glee season one through probably about three or four. Yeah, they lost me towards the end. I watched it all the way through, but I didn't want to. Yeah, I I gave up. After I felt a while. like I had to. Yeah. yeah. Um, Glee is. A show that we were obsessed with when it, not when it first, first came no, out, but we didn't like start watching till season two. Yeah. It, it had been out for a little, but not super long yeah. when we joined the train. The prom episode, if you remember the infamous prom one, that's what um, made us watch. The movie. one that I, I'm not going to teach your boyfriend how to dance yeah. with you. Oh, Darren Chris. So good. Oh, we love Darren Chris. Who is your favorite Glee character? Santana. Yeah. Easily. She was the best one. She was the best. Well, Mercedes was the best singer, but I would yeah. rank her right after. Santana. Easily, one hundred percent of the time, all the time, and I saw myself in her a lot. So like, <laughs> same. <laughs> she <laughs> closeted queer, <laughs> brown girly. We, we saw ourselves in her in different ways. <laughs> but I was, I mean, like honestly, like not to get like serious for a second, I was devastated about Naya Rivera because I fucking loved her. Like, I know. maybe I was her for Halloween when you're maybe I'll do it again. I, just I was find my costume. I was such a fan of hers. Mm-hmm. Honestly, she is so fucking talented. But anyways, Glee ahead of its time, I think. What's like your favorite episode? Ooh, that's hard. You can have favorites or do you have like a favorite Glee moment? Um, Some of my favorite Glee moments were like when Santana was reading people the house down, like yeah. when she was eating them up, dude, the way she, Oh, you know, what's a great one. The one where they drink for the first yeah. time. That's a great episode. Yeah. Quality episode from start to finish. It's so mm. good. Um, the, the episode about Finn is really good. Yeah. Their Christmas episodes. I loved me too. I loved their Christmas. I always episodes. love the Christmas ones. I love the Valentine's day ones. Oh yeah. The Lady Gaga one's really good. Yeah. They did um, Lady Gaga like, I want to say two or three times. Yeah. Well, yeah. But the first one oh. when they first did her and they were all like dressing up like at school OG and Lady stuff. Gaga, yeah. yeah. Um, the serious ones, like the ones with, like, cough syrup yeah that's a good one. those ones were so good for different reasons but they were it like, was like degrassi if degrassi was crit like well degrassi was cringy but yeah it was like i guess a more modernized version of degrassi i guess yeah it was a little more lighthearted than degrassi yeah because like there was a lot of love and wonderfulness in glee just as much as like trauma and tragedy yeah. whereas degrassi was like <laughs> one of my favorite songs they did was when they did pure imagination because i love yeah. Willy wonka yeah um at sue's sister's um oh dude gym. it was like moments like that where i was like this show is <laughs> unbelievable when <laughs> i was like watching Ooh, it or when they did west side story yeah great one that was a good one i love west side story so i'm i'm partial to those not the remake i don't mind it it was too long. It was way too long. I but literally went to sleep. That's how long it but was. But the the characters were expertly cast in that movie. The dancing. Oh the my dancing gosh, and the singing so and the fact good. that they're they're all doing all of it on their own. No doubles. Don't you feel crazy. like they could have taken what's his name out as Tony and you wouldn't have noticed the rest of the movie? Yeah, he was the least impressive part of that movie to me. Just so annoying. But to me, <laughs> not necessary. <laughs> like, yeah. For me, not necessary at all. But, oh, Glee was so good. People who hate on Glee have never watched it. I I'm agree. convinced. I agree. And the first season's rough. I'll give you guys that. You got to get to season two. That's where it starts to get really good. I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, Megan, she said that she loves the movie Love, Rosie. Don't you like that movie? I love that movie. Yeah. I just watched that movie, like, last summer, I want to say. It's with Sam Claflin, right? Yeah, and... um, Lily James. Lily James, yeah. Um. Yeah. No, no Lily, Lily Collins. Lily Collins. Lily James, Lily James is, is Cinderella. Cinderella yeah. yeah. Oh, such a good, that's such a good movie. It's also a really long movie, which I forgot. I don't like long movies. It's just long for a rom-com. You know, they yeah. kind of like wrap it up pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. That movie is so great. That's such a great, like feel good movie, but it's yeah. also really sad too. Like there are some really sad parts in that fucking movie. Yeah. And it's like, I don't it, think I've ever seen it. Oh, you should watch it, dude. I watched it the first time with, I think, our mom, too. Yeah. Yeah. And it was so good. She fell asleep, like she always does. <laughs> <laughs> but she, she doesn't do one thing, it's fall asleep. Yeah. During movies. But it's, it's such a cute movie. And honestly, she does such a great job. Like, I know she's not really British in real life, but I think her 
dad is Phil Collins. Is he is he British in real life? I don't remember. He made the best uh, Tarzan he's soundtrack. He's the soundtrack of all time. Yeah, but he she, is. He's English. Okay, yeah. See, so she does a really good job of doing a, an accent, but I think that's why because yeah. she has a dad who's British, but which is typically what I think takes people out of it sometimes. You know what's also a great one that's in the same vein as that movie? About Time. That movie's such a so good. It's better than Love Rosie. You never seen Love Rosie? I just know it is. I they're just they're too different. I don't different. need to see it. I don't need apples to see and it. oranges, babe. I'm telling Who you. Who plays the ginger guy in that movie? He's um Bill Weasley. Yeah, Domhnall Gleeson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else is he's and in Rachel the Star McAdams Wars. is yeah, Rachel McAdams. He's in the Star that Wars bitch. Movie. One thing about Rachel McAdams, she she gonna be a love interest and she gonna eat it up every mm. time. She's gonna fucking especially in kill a romantic it. comedy. Oh my god, yeah. She's gonna literally she's chewing everybody up and spitting them out every time. I she beats everybody movie. out for those roles every <laughs> single fucking time, dude. Oh, Love Rosie's such a good movie. It's almost like in that movie, like it gets to a point where you're like, Doug, they're never gonna be together. Like they just yeah. keep missing each other. You're like, they're never gonna be together. And then they finally get together at the end. Ooh, okay. But it just takes forever. This one's in here three times, which makes me laugh because we love this movie. It's Cat in the Hat. <laughs> I love that movie. That movie. It's kind of disturbing. Yeah. But it's, it's a little so disturbing. fucking funny. It's a great one though. It's yeah, funny. It's a great movie. And it's so campy. Like everything yeah, about the way the fashion, it looks and, yeah. and like the filming of it. It's really good. I agree. That's a great one. Our brother was obsessed with that movie. Yeah. So It like, has nine Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Nine? Such a low fucking rate. Wasn't, isn't Dakota Fanning in there? She's a little girl. Yeah. Spencer yeah. Breslin. There's yeah. a lot of famous, Sean Hayes is in it. There's yeah. a lot of famous people in it. Yeah. I know, but I just remembered Dakota Fanning being the little girl. Ooh, remember the movie Uptown Girls? Uptown Girl. Yes. No, that's the song. I'm yeah. just kidding. You were right. Uptown Girls. Yep. <laughs> I know. Really great movie. Really sad. Really sad. All right, friends. We're going to take a quick break for a little ad moment. And this one's with our friends at HelloFresh. So with HelloFresh, you can choose from up to 55 plus weekly options featuring pre-portioned, high quality ingredients picked at peak ripeness. HelloFresh delivers fresh quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week so you could savor summer flavors right from home. And all of the meals that they deliver to you are foolproof step-by-step -step recipes, which mean a joyful cooking experience and a stress-free summer. Plus, HelloFresh cuts back on time spent in the kitchen with meals ready in about 30 minutes or less. I personally was able to customize mine. I'm vegan, so I was able to like pick out the dairy and things like that when I got the vegetarian meals, but I couldn't believe how fast it was to create everything and how easy it was. I've always wanted to be better at cooking, but it just has never really been my strong suit. So I was so excited to be able to work with HelloFresh and like look at all the different recipes and everything came out so yummy. I was really impressed with myself. And so if you go to HelloFresh.com slash 2IdiotGirls16 and use the code 2IdiotGirls16, you'll get up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. So again, you'll visit HelloFresh.com slash 2IdiotGirls16 and use code 2IdiotGirls16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. Now back to the episode. Cool. This one's from... Develis, I think I pronounced her name right. And she said the B movie. <laughs> <laughs> you like I, jazz? <laughs> you like jazz? I like that movie for the cringe ballness of it, but I don't really like, like that. Kids movie. don't understand drag, but what the fuck is this? And it's when the B and the girl are on a date. <laughs> Doug, I when I watched it as a as like a young adult or yeah. a kid, I was like, this is <laughs> weird this is kind of you know what um, you know when i don't like the movie when you make me agree with the shitty white man in the movie yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. he was like he's a fucking b like <laughs> who gives a shit about this guy like but i do know the b crisis is an issue that's like every time i see a b i help him get in the grass i haven't seen a b in a very long time so when yeah. i'm on my walk i haven't gone on a walk in a minute but when i did <laughs> I'd save those little guys. Yeah. So I think her name, I think the name is Kara, but she said, I don't want to waste anyone's time dropping this nuclear bomb later on. So I always get it out on the first date. 
I love any and all Dwayne Johnson movies. He could do no wrong in my eyes. San Andreas watched it five times. Race to Witch Mountain family <laughs> fave. Journey to the Mysterious Island. What the fuck are these movies? I've never the Race to Witch Mountain, I remember. I don't she remember the iconic. other one. The Jumanji movies, an absolute crack up. Those are good ones. Yeah. The Scorpion King, a timeless classic. There is not one that I would get rid of, but I swear I have good taste in movies. Um, you didn't bring up the one with the gorilla. What's that? Rampage. Did you like that one? I didn't know he was in Rampage. The Rock? Yeah. Yeah, with the white gorilla. Yeah, I didn't know he was in that. He is in that movie. Well, you didn't bring up Hobbs and Shaw, so clearly you're not a real <laughs> Dwayne Johnson fan. You're going to put the Scorpion King in there, but a Hobbs and Shaw? Also, listen, bitch. I know this is a safe space, but San Andreas was fucking garbage. Did I you watched, watch the movie? I've seen that movie. I watched it at Billy's parents' house once because it Drew was Drew would rather watch shitty movies than watch anything worth taste that I give her. I already told you why. Why? I have a problem with hyper fixating on things. When I find something that I really love, I cannot let it go. And I'm simply too busy. I'm too busy to get into another show. I'm too busy to get into another person. Me I'm too. too busy. I'm too busy. Me too. Like, so you know how Bernie has seen the Elvis movie and she's watching interviews with them? Yeah. Uh, I can't. Him? I do shit like that all the I time. I know. Me too. I can't help like, it. Like when I was like in my Sebastian Stan hyper fixation, like I would like go to bed watching YouTube interview, interviews of him. I'm like, I'm, this is so embarrassing. Scene. And I'm just like, I can't help it. What so am I like doing? I, I actively avoid shit so that I can like exist normally yeah. and like get my work done. Like yeah, that's why. Same, same. So like, yeah, San Andreas isn't gonna do anything but make me laugh, and then I'm gonna be like, all right, good night, and then I'm yeah. gonna be a productive member of society. I agree, I agree. But I watched San Andreas and that movie is so bad. Like <laughs> objectively, that movie's really bad. I do love Dwayne Johnson though. Everybody knows this. Yeah, Hobbs and Shaw is one of the best Dwayne Johnson movies. It is, yeah, I agree. I, if not the best. What would you say is his best work yet? I would say Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> like, for sure I would. Like, even Central Intelligence. Yes, like, okay. I watched that movie. I think it's funny. It's kitschy. It's very, like, campy. It's not, like... It's not campy at all. Not campy, but I guess, like, just, like, I... some Like, of the, slapstick humor. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. slapstick. But I'm saying some of the, like egregious nature of it is campy to me but like there's not really anything like super crazy in that one yeah if anything san andreas is more the campy. most camp movie of all time <laughs> yeah, because it's <laughs> so unrealistic but like um no yeah i take it back it's more so like slapstick humor mm -hmm. but i like once got into this debate with with uh billy and i've told you about it about like who's a better actor him or jason momoa and I was the like, The Rock, easily. And he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, because The Rock it is so, like, for lack of a better word, conspicuous that, like, that man can't, he can't play, like, anything else. Like, he couldn't be in, like, the movie Belfast, you know? <laughs> like That movie's <laughs> like, it's like an Oscar. He was really good in The Jungle Cruise. That was probably, like, his best oh, acting. Oh, The Jungle Cruise is I've a great one. Where it wasn't always just him. But, like, he is who he is. And he so plays, he to his plays strengths. roles who play him. Mm -hmm. Like, if that makes sense. So like, he's a big dude. All his roles revolve around him being large, mm -hmm. which some could say is steering into a stereotype, but all his movies are very like tailored to him specifically. Like the Jumanji movies are so funny. I really like those. Movies. Yeah. So like, Welcome I think to Jumanji. <laughs> I think he's he's <laughs> he's a quality like actor because he plays the right roles. Like he plays yes. like himself. Like he could never in the same way that like I could never play like <laughs> anyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of like like I could never play someone that's like frail and weak and tiny. I yeah. could never play that because I'm not a frail and weak and tiny person. Yes. Objectively. Yeah. And that's him too. He's large and in charge. Yeah. So he fucking plays roles that play to his strengths. So mm -hmm. like his new Black Adam movie, like he's gonna be like the big guy, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, which is like, I think it works for him. I think he's working with what he <laughs> he's got. He's going to be the big guy. <laughs> well, and then like him starring opposite Kevin Hart is, is camp in and of itself because they're two extremes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like of the hu human physical form, yeah. they're two extremes. <laughs> so like them playing alongside each other is like, is silly and yes. funny and kitschy. So like he's very quirky and his movies are very like, Whatever, I'm biased. He's the only someone person in the fucking media. And he so. can do no wrong by me. Yeah, he's just, you know what? 
He's doing what he needs to do. <laughs> He's collecting He's his doing checks. What needs to be done. Yeah. Okay, we'll do two more. Okay. So this one's from Anna, and she said, I loved the sweet life on deck and thought it was genius and a much needed transition from the original sweet life. That's where I have to disagree with you, friends. I did not like it. I didn't care for the sweet life on deck. That's when they introduced Debbie Ryan, right? Yes. And Woody. Woody. <laughs> Who was he was like the tall kid with the curly hair and glasses. I don't remember that His character. Name was Woody. He was like a nerd and he was always like sweaty. Was it Sinjin? No, but uh, Sinjin's really funny. Yeah. Look, yeah, Woody. Remember this character? Hold on, you gotta bring it closer so I can. Remember? I. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't remember that person. Yeah, his name was Woody, and he was really, like, he was always like annoying. Oh, I don't remember that. Well, maybe that's why you don't remember him. Yeah. <laughs> the sweet life. Did that throw you off, dude? Yeah, a little <laughs> bit, because I feel like I'm like, what? It's like a Mandela effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was never there in the first place. Um, the first, the Sweet Life, the original show, I think was better than yeah, the Sweet I Life on there. I think that was them trying to squeeze the every last drop out of, out of that twins, out of that yeah. couple of twins. Yeah. yeah, like poor guys, they were being worked to the bone. Yeah, I agree. But then you also you lost characters like Maddie and London, like and Esteban and Mr. Mosby. Like even though Mr. Mosby was still on the boat, sometimes no, he always was. Yeah, he was on the boat, but I'm just saying like. It wasn't the same as having the all hotel. of them in one. Yeah. And like Maddie and London, they were there some of the show. But then as it went on, they kind of started phasing them out. I don't even think they were on the show. They were in the first couple episodes when remember. they transitioned to the okay. Sweet Life on Deck. Like, and then that's when they introduced Debbie Ryan. So they had a whole nother person yeah. to kind of like Did you like fill Wizards in that of Waverly Place more than Sweet Life in general? Oh, man. Well, two different phases. I feel like I was older when I saw Wizards of Waverly Place. They weren't running at the exact same time. Yeah, they were. No, they weren't. Sweet Life was on first before Wizards. Is yeah, what I'm I know saying. that, but I'm saying... because like I know, but they were running along the same time. The best line. one was Hannah Montana. That was my favorite. Easily. Yeah. But, and That's So Raven. Yes. Um, That's So Raven I've watched recently, and I swear to God it still holds it's up. It's still so funny. I watched Raven's Home when we were in... At oh, Con. yeah, I saw... I was watching it with Mommy, and she was like, this show's pretty funny. I'm yeah. Because like, Raven's hilarious. Yeah. Rap, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> um, But... Yeah, I would say Hannah Montana was probably the best, mm -hmm. was for sure the best. And then Wizards was a close second. I agree, yeah. Um, but like Nickelodeon shows, iCarly. <gasps> I and, just uh, watched that the other day. I watched the One Direction episode. And Victorious. So funny. Victorious, literally, Billy, like out loud laughs at that show. Mm -hmm. And he goes, this show's way funnier than like the other. When I was trying to make him watch like Hannah Montana or like. Uh, that's a Raven. Yeah. He like prefers Victorious. He thinks Ooh, that one's okay. way funnier. And I was like, well, it's a little more modern too. Victorious. Yeah. Like it's not as like old school. Ooh, as, and like, everyone on that show was so fucking hot. <laughs> like <laughs> what the hell? Like, What's going on there? Yeah. Literally. <laughs> you know, most of the shows there's like two hot people. Like I Carly, I never thought any of them were hot. Oh yeah. Like no. when people say they have a crush on Freddie Benson. Do you remember when Austin Butler was on there? Yeah. Wasn't he in the episode that crosses over with Victorious? No. Wait, did I make that up? You made that up. No. His, oh, that was a different episode where he can't sing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. she has a crush on him and she's all... The way they're watching him, they're like... She's like, you're going to do so good. And they auto-tune him. Yeah. And then he gets too big for her. He's like, <laughs> I've moved on, bitch. Yeah. And the one we'll end on, I don't... A lot of people are saying it's controversial because people hate this show, is Friends. And I'll be the first to admit it. I haven't watched Friends or I didn't watch Friends in a really long time when it made its resurgence. Yeah. And I told you, I think that show's overrated. Then I watched The Reunion with my mom. Yeah. And I was dying laughing at all the clips. My mom goes, first, somebody says they fucking hate this show. <laughs> you sure are giggling quite a lot. And I was like, well, and then we watched a bunch of episodes. And I was telling her, I realize I don't hate this show. I don't hate a lot. I don't hate anything. But yeah. I was like, it's not that I don't like this show. It's that I don't like the people like obsessed the with it. Yeah. I, that's fair. Yeah. Same thing with people who are with obsessed the with office. the office. Yeah. yeah. You have to think too, I always like take everything with a grain of salt when it comes to old shows because obviously they There's were a at a different time. Yeah. So <clears throat> I think a show that can't be saved by that is How I Met Your Mother. And no, 
The Big Bang Theory. And you know, the Big Bang Theory has always been garbage. Yeah. And the fact that it's also problematic and still on and also garbage just makes no sense. Yeah. But like when it comes to How I Met Your Mother, I, I don't even find it funny. I know. When I watch try to watch it now. Um, and I remember I only remember because I saw clips of it on TikTok once and I was like, this show is like not funny. Yeah. And the and the TikTok was making fun of it, like how it's not good. Yeah. Um, and that one's wildly problematic, like way more problematic than Friends ever was. Yeah. And it was out later than Friends. So that tells you something. And then on top of that, um, the office too. Yeah. Well, because and I remember telling Days in this too, because obviously the office has really problematic stuff in it as well. But I remember seeing like Mindy Kaling and like Steve Carell talk about, first of all, Steve Carell said, you know, some, some shows are good to leave because people are like, should we get a reboot? And mm-hmm. he's like, no, some, some shows are good to let lie as they ended. And, and they ended that show beautifully. Like that's, he's all, but the minions, I'm going to ride that train <laughs> till it to fucking the dies. Wheels fall off. Bitch. I'm going to do it. And kids go feral for minions. So like he's in his bag. That's for <laughs> fucking sure. But when it comes to like, That he said the humor in that show, I actually saw someone else talk about it. They did like a thesis on it about problematic comedy back in the day versus now. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about the thing about The Office, unlike How I Met Your Mother and unlike The Big Bang Theory, is that the joke was not in the offensive initially mm-hmm. it's in the reaction to him well, being and offensive. everyone knows he's being offensive yeah like in the all show. of them are yeah. like you can't say shit like that yeah. like it's that's so what, um arrested development is too yeah and it's like the awkwardness yeah. is what makes it funny yeah so it's like how i met your mother the like transphobia the homophobia that's the punchline yeah but the punchline in the office is not like that the punchline in the office is literally them being like you're a fucking asshole well and like ted mosby is literally the most unlikable character i've ever seen like he literally has like no bitches right here (laughs) (laughs) he's such a like woe is me everybody hates me like how come nobody wants to be with me and he's truly just insufferable like he's he's like carbon copy sign is he's an aries no he's not an aries I would say like oh, he's a Virgo. <laughs> oh yes! Oh my God! He's yeah, such a know-it-all or a Cancer. Ooh, yeah. yeah, he's a Virgo or a Cancer for sure. But I love Jason Siegel so much, and I like Colby uh, Smolder. I almost said Kaylin's cut Kalei, yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, I I like her too. Yeah, and Neil Patrick Harris is in that too. And I heard he's not a very really? nice person. Oh, yeah. cut that part out then. Just like, yeah. You can leave that in. It's like people who have met him, they said that he's kind of mean. Oh, that sucks. I know. Because I'm a fan. It's of- not true because stars are just like us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of his Broadway career, yes. Neil Patrick Harris. Kinky I hope- boots. Yeah. Well, in um, Company. I told you he was in Company. You know, I don't remember that. He was in the same run as the Late Late Show guy. You- How do or you- no, the Daily. No. Sorry, not the Late Late Show. That's James Corden. You're, I know you're talking about Stephen Colbert, but yeah. it's called the Colbert Report. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. There's a million Late Shows, but yeah, Stephen Colbert. Okay. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, friends, as someone who comfort watches Friends, like puts it on and falls asleep to it, mm-hmm. it's like it's there's obviously problematic stuff inside of it. Yeah, and the nature of which it started ripped off from another show, obviously you know, bad, but like the humor in it of itself is like, it's not nearly as bad as something like how I met your mother. There are some things in there where you're like, mm, never resurface that. Yeah. Um, and some of the verbiage they use is really offensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the most problematic storyline in friends is, um, his relationship with his dad. Oh, Chandler. Yeah. Because Chandler is honestly, people talk about how terrible Ross is, but actually Chandler's really fucking terrible. Yeah. If you think about it, like, like he's truly awful in a lot of the episodes, like mm-hmm. his, his ability to navigate relationships, how he handles emotion, all how men, he treats women. All the men in the show. Joey's obvious. Uh, honestly, Joey is like the least problematic of all but of them. he harasses women a lot, doesn't he? No, that's Neil Patrick Harris's character. Oh. No, Joey doesn't harass women. He just attracts them. Oh, I see. I see and I see, he's see. very upfront about how he doesn't want a relationship or whatever. And he's not, he's not homophobic. He's not transphobic. Like, yeah, literally, like he's I like the least problematic. Yeah, I just watched an episode um, at the hotel where he wants to make this like play. He wants to book a role. Yeah. So Rachel dresses him and she's like, you have he to carry the bag. The bag. Yeah. 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 See? 
And he's like, you could put all your things in here. And then they're being so homophobic towards yeah. him. And he's just like, fuck all y'all. Like, he literally doesn't care. And the guy's like, do you want to put the bag down? And he goes, okay. And he goes, no. Yeah. yeah. And then she goes, I don't think the world's ready for you in your bag. <laughs> And he's like, fuck all y'all. Like, that's what I'm saying. His character is the least problematic yeah. out of all of them. Him and Phoebe. Yeah. And Phoebe's my favorite character. Yeah, yeah. So like, that's a show I think it's specific to the person. If you love it. I think yeah. if you're obsessed with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like with like, most things. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I like Friends as like, a, it's like a, something nice to watch if you're trying to clear your brain. Like, yeah. just watch something happy, mm -hmm. whatever. You know what I mean? But um, that Friends reunion was real emo for me too I when cried. i watched it yeah yeah and you just think too like they were literally on daytime television so like there was no tivo or anything then obviously mm -hmm. no internet and they had the world in a chokehold mm -hmm. bitch like the fact that they were making a million plus per episode yeah. fucking nuts and dude. there was like i think one of the members from bts he said that's how he learned english was watching friends was watching friends yeah transformative yeah and like there's an episode with brad pitt which is like i'd love to talk to teffy about it but it was like it's real messy because that's when him and jennifer aniston were together yeah but he was at his prime and yeah. that episode's really funny yeah He's Christ a funny guy. There's lots of famous people that come in that show yeah, too. Paul Rudd. And Christina Applegate, Reese yes, Witherspoon. Yes. Um, there's lots of other famous people too. Danny DeVito's in a couple episodes. Like literally Robin Williams is in a couple episodes. Oh. When he was at the top of his game. So everyone, you know, everyone screams. Yeah. Yeah. It's really like, it's honestly crazy. I love that. Yeah. I fuck, I fuck with friends. There's just no diversity. None whatsoever. They they They're do all have two blonde, five brunettes. <laughs> yeah, they have one one black woman who's a recurring character, but then she ends up getting phased out anyways. But yeah. she's actually in there for a long time, considering yeah. how often they typically kept recurring characters, yeah. which wasn't very long. Oh, Bruce Willis is a recurring character yeah, in there. For that one's funny. Ben Stiller. That's the one I told you about where he screams at people. <laughs> <laughs> that one's funny because he's so funny. Ben Stiller's yeah. funny. But anyways, yeah. Do you have any, we'll, we'll wrap right here. Do you have any controversial shows or movies that you want the people to watch? Um, The Prince of Egypt. <laughs> That's a great one. I watched it on the plane on the way home from Nashville. I know because I told you it was on there. I saw it already, oh, but okay. I hadn't watched it in all the plane rides we took in the fucking four weeks we were flying everywhere. Yeah. But I didn't watch it. And then I watched it. And then when we were landing, you know, they were like, oh, we're we're going to be on the tarmac for like 20 minutes. I was like, yes, because I could keep watching. I was like, I'm so and then everyone was standing up and Billy was like, you have to. He's like, hey. <laughs> and I was like, because I was going watching my show <laughs> and I wasn't like, paying we're getting off the plane. <laughs> Oh my god! I watched the movie Cyrano. <laughs> oh yeah, with Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. I saw it on Amazon. <laughs> it says Oscar nominated. Listen, <laughs> for what? <laughs> for the acting? No, no, dude. It's, it's the costuming or something. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get nominated for an award for that fucking movie. The set it's, design. Yeah, have you seen it? I, exactly. Not, I like Peter Dinklage. I think he's a great actor. Yeah. Honestly, in that movie, I was like, okay, I see you, he's bitch. He's kind of bomb. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I literally <laughs> like, no, I, when you watch that movie, you're yeah. like, ooh, ooh okay. Does he, is it a music? It's a musical. Yeah. That's why I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> and he can't sing. <laughs> so it's more so like spoken word, like yeah. kind of like Russell Crowe and Les Mis, but like, it's very like, bro, I hate that movie. Justice for Les Mis. <laughs> no, I hate that one. And I hate Into... Out of the woods, into the woods, into the woods. Out of the, I love out of the woods, but I hate into the woods. Into the woods. I don't want to watch a movie where they don't talk. It's just Sondheim. singing. Well, into the woods. I think Les Mis is better than Into the Woods. I mean, the cast alone. Yeah, wrong for Les Mis. Well, I think they're apples and oranges because in Into the Woods it's pretty stacked too, but. Who's in that one? I know James Corden's in that one. Oh, well, James Corden. <laughs> That's the only one I know. <laughs> Emily Blunt. Oh, yeah. Okay, Anna yeah. Kendrick, James Marsden. I don't like it. Well, no, not James Marsden. Chris Pine. Ooh. Sexy. Chris Pine. Yeah. Meryl Streep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they have Hugh Jackman. I know. They have Hugh Jackman. They have Anne, Anne Hathaway. Hathaway. They have Russell Crowe. They have Sing Eddie like Redmayne. <gasps> yeah. And Amanda Seyfried. Sing like um, Russell Crowe right now. He literally sings like. Like, he's like, oh, I can't take you. That's how he's like, literally sings. Like, it's like, 
That's kind of more Hugh Jackman, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> no, his is more like, I told you, it's spoken word, like, because he can't really sing. I know, so sing. Like, I can't think of it. I can't think of, like, how he sings. I can, I can kind of hear it in my head, but not really. It's so annoying, dude. Russell Crowe just, like, almost, like, like yodels a little bit. But, like, anyways, back to Cyrano. <laughs> It's actually pretty good. I, I It's very entertaining. Who's the love interest in that movie? I don't know her name. I don't know who she is. Um, Cyrano's the only one Sorry I recognize. this man. Oh, I don't know her either. Yeah, that's why I said. The whole cast I've never seen except... The Steve Martin version of Cyrano de Bergerac is really funny. Oh, yeah. It's called Roxanne. Yeah. Well, and, Roxanne. And, I, and I think it's because Cyrano is like one of my favorite, if not my favorite Shakespeare. Because it's the easiest to read, yeah. Girl, go fuck yourself <laughs> <laughs> for you. For you. No, that's my favorite one because I really like the storyline. Like, yeah, I, I really my love... favorite Shakespeare play is um... Romeo and Juliet. You fucking basic bitch. <laughs> no, I hate that one. No, Macbeth. I like that one a lot. You like Macbeth the yeah, most? Yeah, that was the best one. Where he kisses his mom on the lips. That's Hamlet. Wrong. Macbeth. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Macbeth is to be or not to be, right? That's Hamlet. I think we're thinking of <laughs> <laughs> Hamlet's the one where his where that they literally base know, sons incest. of anarchy on. Yeah, it's incest. Low key. There's there's incest, bro. Look it up. Is there incest in Hamlet? It's not. It's the dad's best friend that marries his mom. It's supposed to be like son, that's what they base sons of anarchy off of. Is Hamlet? No, but there's like incest in there, low key. In, in one of them. It's either Hamlet or Macbeth. It's in one of them. That's why they're always like Hamlet and the ghost. Wait, no, you know what I'm thinking of? What? I'm thinking what's the I'm thinking of another play, but it's it has incest in it for realsies. Game of Thrones? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's oh, fuck. What is it? Look it up. I think it's a Shakespeare play too. Shakespeare play. Fuck. Incest. It's literally what people always comment on videos of like alt right Republicans. You know, they're like, their mom looks like their sister when they say that fucked up shit. Oh, it is Hamlet. You're right. Told you. I'm trying to tell me. No, the, there's there's another one. It's not. I keep King saying, Lear. No. Fuck, that's gonna bother me. Do you want me to look up the name of all Shakespeare? Plays? I don't think there's that many. Yeah. Shakespeare. I don't know if it's Shakespeare though, but I know it's a play. Do you know the name of Shakespeare's wife? Anne Hathaway. Oh yeah, I did know that actually. Okay. Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Is it that one? <laughs> Hamlet Macbeth. Oh, a midsummer night's dream. I hated that one. It was yeah, so that one confusing. was the most boring. That one King was the most Lear, boring. The Tempest, Julius Caesar. Oh, that's a good one. So is Othello. As you like it. What's the one where people literally, you know how they like Sigmund Freud would have a field day with this. You know when people make that, that joke on TikTok. Yeah. What's the fucking play that they always reference? Oedipus. That's what it is. Yeah. Oedipus. Well, and you're bringing up Oedipus because they talk about the Oedipus complex a yeah. lot in Hamlet. Okay. There you go. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay. Well, that's what I was initially referencing. Um, but I did know that there was incest in Hamlet. Jeez, everyone's probably screaming, Oedipus! No, I know, Oedipus Is Oedipus complex. the one where he eats his eyes? Or he rips his eyes out? Doesn't he, like, do something to his mom, and then he rips... Okay, well, I was trying not to say the word. Oh, shit, sorry. Yeah, he, like, he assaults his, mom, his mother. And then yeah. rips his eyeballs out, no? I don't remember the eyeball part, but you might be right. <laughs> I have no idea. And on that note... <laughs> Anyways, uh, are you going to watch The Summer Return Pretty? Yes, I really want to. Okay. Please do. I watch it after we fall first. I'm all, first I got to get that out of them. No shit. You probably <laughs> will. What am I, was I going to say? I'm going to finish Hacks. That's one of my shows I'm finishing right now. Cool. And then I'll probably watch the newest season of Legendary because I didn't watch it. Oh yeah. I haven't watched it with Kiki Palmer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No more Meg. They have Kiki Yeah. They year. have Kiki this year. My Virgo queen. Another Virgo. Meg? Kiki. Oh, yeah. I think Meg's a Taurus. I have no idea. But oh. I know Kiki Palmer's a Virgo. Is she really? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. My Virgo queen. That makes sense. Okay. So is Zendaya. So <laughs> the burden I bear of being the best. <laughs> Literally me. <Yeah. laughs> 
All right, guys, we're going to end it here. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Two Idiot Girls. If you have any more movies or TV shows that are universally disliked, like when you tell people, oh my God, I love this movie, and they go, that's yeah. so embarrassing for Where you, you have to like, you have to give a, a laundry a list of reasons. As to what, why it's an good. An explanation why it is good, actually. <laughs> Send us more. It's all found in our highlights on our Instagram. Um, yes. Other than that, we hope you guys have a great week. You can listen to this every you listen to podcasts and watch the YouTube version on our YouTube channel. And yeah, we love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.